Is your deck showing its age? Does it have noticeable cracks and splinters? Decks take a great deal of abuse from Mother Nature throughout the year. Intense summer heat, rain, and winter conditions are extremely tough on decks, causing cracking, splinters, and unsightly surfaces. Hello, my name is Chris Adams with the Restore Family of Products. Are you tired of staining or painting your deck surface year after year? Do you think the cracks and splinters on your deck surface mean it's time for total replacement? Well, rather than do that, use Deck Restore to completely resurface the area so you can enjoy your outdoor living space all over again. Deck Restore is not a painter stain. It's a thick, viscous product that fills cracks up to a quarter inch, encapsulates splinters, and extends the life of your deck. It applies about ten times thicker than painter stain. Its elastic characteristics allow it to expand and contract to protect your deck and prevent cracks and splinters from coming back. Two coats of Restore will completely encapsulate splinters, fill in cracks up to a quarter inch deep or thick, and give you a nice non-slip textured surface. Our limited lifetime warranty means less maintenance so you can enjoy it for years to come. Let's review the steps to apply Deck Restore. First, remove all furniture and accessories from your deck. Then remove any debris. Clean your surface using Restore Deck and Concrete Cleaner and a scrub brush with synthetic bristles. This concentrated cleaner is biodegradable and environmentally friendly. Mix one cup of cleaner with one gallon of water and apply with a pump sprayer. Allow it to sit for 5 to 10 minutes, then scrub. Rinse thoroughly with water and allow drying completely. For extremely dirty surfaces, you can also use a pressure washer. For grease spots and stubborn stains, use TSP following manufacturer's recommendations. After cleaning, allow your surface to completely dry. Our surface is almost ready, but we want to make sure we set any nails that have popped up. Use a nail set to hammer these nails into place. If you have any loose paint or shiny areas, you'll need to sand to give the Deck Restore an ideal surface to adhere to. Deck Restore fills most cracks. However, for larger cracks, it's a good idea to use Restore Crack Filler or similar latex-based caulking. Simply push the Restore Crack Filler into the cracks using a standard caulking gun, wipe away the excess, and allow it to dry. Now we're ready for vertical surfaces. Restore Solid Acrylic Stain is ideal for railings, balusters, fences, walls, and more. It works on wood and concrete surfaces. Solid stain is different than paint. It's a lot thinner, so some of the texture of the wood will show through. As with most coatings, we recommend two coats, so you can cover any places missed on the first coat. After completing your vertical surfaces, you can use the remaining stain between the gaps of the deck boards. This will keep the color consistent. Just dab it out and brush it in. Deck Restore can also be used on the horizontal surfaces of your rails. You can use a roller or apply with a brush for a smoother effect. Make sure you load it up heavy and apply with light pressure. If you apply too much pressure, you're going to lose a lot of the texture. After applying the second coat, knock down the texture by gently pulling your brush across the rolled surface. This will float the coating and make it less textured. Make sure you protect the areas around your deck that you want to keep unpainted, including walls, vertical surfaces, plants, etc. So now that we've done all of our prep work, we've cleaned and washed, we've scrubbed, We've sanded any glossy areas or cracked and peeling paint. We've covered up areas that we don't want to get any product on top of. And we've stained all of our vertical surfaces and in between our boards. It's now time to apply the Restore. You'll want to use a Restore roller, which is a special honeycomb roller that makes the application simple. Each two-gallon kit includes a Restore roller cover. They're also available separately. The Restore roller absorbs the product and when given a little pressure, it will push the product out and give that great textured finish. You want to make sure that you use just a slight downward pressure. Too much pressure and you won't get that beautiful texture. Roll only in one direction and avoid rolling back and forth. The product goes ahead of the roller and the roller pushes it straight into the cracks. You won't fill every crack every time on the first coat. For difficult cracks, you can dab product into them prior to applying the second coat. If you get product buildup between boards, use a putty knife or a similar tool to open up the gap. Some boards may be cupped or warped and will be hard to fill. 
The solution is to roll the product perpendicular to the board, then come back and roll it in the same direction as the boards. This will give you a uniform texture. We also offer a 4-inch Restore Roller. This gives a more precise application and allows you to apply the product one board at a time. Simply load the roller and push it down the center of the board using light pressure in one direction. Then go back and lightly knock down any ridges. So now that the first coat is completely dry, we're going to go back and put the second coat on. While your first coat is a base coat, the second is a finishing coat. Use a brush to fill any gaps the rollers couldn't fill. Load heavy and then pull and dab. You want to push it down into the cracks so it doesn't just lay on top of the cracks. Now that we're done with the touch-up work, we're going to roll on the second coat. Roll Deck Restore with even slow pressure. The light pressure will give the coating a consistent texture throughout the whole deck. Again, if you get product buildup between boards, use a putty knife to open up the gap. This will give you a cleaner application and allow water to shed off the decking. Sometimes you may have boards that are cupped or warped. Like you did with the first coat, roll perpendicular to the board first, then simply roll it out with light pressure along the length of the board. So that's it. The project is complete and the results are amazing. We've taken a deck that we thought was ready for replacement, added two coats of deck restore to it, and now have an outdoor living space that will be enjoyed for years to come. What did we do? First, we prepped everything by giving it a good cleaning. Then we did the vertical surfaces with Restore Solid Acrylic Stain. We did horizontal surfaces of the railing with Deck Restore and a brush. And then we applied two coats of Deck Restore with our special Restore Roller. In as little as eight hours, you can walk on your restored surface. And within three to five days, it'll be ready for furniture. Deck Restore will be completely cured in 30 days. With regular maintenance like simple sweeping, hosing, or light pressure washing to get rid of dirt, grime, mud, or grease, Deck Restore will last for 8 to 10 years.